So my sister taught me how to make her quintessential sabudana khichdi and I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm using this 200 gram sabudana packet. I'll also show you how much it is in by cups. So it's a little over one cup and now we're going to soak it. I'm going to add in a little more than one cup of water. So the whole idea is to add water like the water level needs to be just half an inch over the sabudana as you can see the water is just half an inch above the sabudana level and we're going to let it soak for about four hours and then it'll be ready four hours later and our sabudana is ready it's dry and this is how dry you need it to be so that your sabudana khichdi won't be soggy and sticky if you see it's this dry, please don't add more water. This is perfection. I'm heating a frying pan and I'm going to add 3 4 cup of peanuts. We're going to lightly roast this for about 3 to 5 minutes. You don't need to cook this completely because we're going to cook this later with the sabudana. Once it's lightly toasted, I'm going to cool it down and then we're going to grind it. So it has cooled down and now we're going to grind it. Just pulse it for like 30 seconds and then you'll get this coarse powder texture. You need it to be a little coarse instead of like finely ground. It's st it still has some peanut chunks and that's how you want it to be. Then you add it to the sabudana, the soaked sabudana. And then you mix it. Mix it well. As you can see, it's well coated now and it's ready for use. I'm heating a frying pan and adding about half teaspoon of ghee. You can use oil as well, but we cook with ghee, so I'm using ghee. Then I'm adding three green chilies that I've halved. Then about one teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds. Give it a mix. Then I'm going to add about 3 tablespoons of roughly chopped coriander leaves. That is dhania. Let this cook for about a minute. And then we're going to add the sabudana mixture. So there goes the sabudana and peanut mixture. Mix it. And we're cooking everything on a low to medium heat. So that we don't burn it. And we can let it cook properly. After a minute, add in half teaspoon of red chili powder, some salt, this depends on your preference. Mix it well so everything is well coated and combined. Once combined, we're going to add in some sugar. I'm adding one and half teaspoon. You can add more or less. Mix it well. Then we're going to add in juice of half a lemon. There it goes. Mix everything and then we're going to let this cook for about 5 to 8 minutes on low medium heat. And then it's ready. And it's ready. I'm going to scoop out some for myself. So my sister taught me how to make this. This has been our Sunday brunch for quite a while now. If you try this recipe, let me know. If you share it somewhere, don't forget to tag me. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel called Pratty and Food. I would love to see how you make this and I'll keep coming up with more recipes just for you. Bye!